Okay, hello, my name is Aditya and welcome to my YouTube channel and this is uh, this week tutorial we're going to learn how to create this effect in Blender it's like um, there's a fracturing and then it's reversing back to the if you see here it will coming back into one piece after centering okay eventually we can achieve this effect uh, it's like a you you do the fracturing i mean you do a particle uh, fracturing and then after that you reverse that in video editor but today i'm going to you're going to learn how to do it directly in blender without jumping out into another program okay cool so let's get started okay this is the starter file that i've been making on <coughs> Uh, so what's what we're going to do is like we're going to select this and just go to object and make a quick evac quick explode there so wh what this what we're, we're gonna do it's like it's give that kind of evac so okay we're going to fix this it's not really cool so go to particle system here and I'm going to change the start time to so it will be after 10 frame it will be start explode <coughs> I'm sorry you have to change this first click to set 25 and change the start to 10 so it will be the nice transition between 10 and 25 okay cool uh, next what we're going to do is still in particle system uh, nothing to change here it's like we go close the emission and go to velocity i'm going to reduce normal to zero so what it's gonna do it's like it's uh, let's give one value to see so you see that it will be more it's uh explode in in a random area so i'm going to reduce normal to zero so it will be uh, explode of not too much but it's going down really smoothly cool okay next what we're going to do I'm going to close the velocity and enable rotation and set the initial rotation to normal okay so you see that it's going to be a very very uh, yeah it's facing to the normal it's very cool and okay because I'm going to limit uh, the, f the timeline to maybe around 60 I'm going to set the end frame so I'm going to set the 10 value to set a random to keyframe here and maybe in around 25 I'm going to set it to 1 so it's just keyframe it. so it's like it will give a transition cool it's like it's open up it's kind of a more realistic fracturing okay cool okay that's for rotation and maybe for emission I'm going to increase the number to 500 so it has a lot of fracturing there cool next thing to do is I'm going to set the collision for the floor set this and we're going to collision cool okay this is the important part it's like uh, going to set the okay the thickness to 0.4 and the factor 0.6 and this particle friction 0.3 so make sure you change this value okay and uh, Cool. So let's see what happened. Go to camera view and Alt A to see. Okay, cool. Okay, now I'm going to add more deep to this. This is like a pepper. So <laughs> we're going to add deep depth to the object itself. So we're going to go to modifier here. Okay, select this kind of thing. Cool. I 
add modifier and subdivision surface zoom a little bit up cool optimal display and okay nothing fancy here i'm going to use smooth sorry to settings so like so right now it's very very smooth and you also see that it's kind of very very smooth too okay next thing we're going to do we're going to add a solidify it's there okay solidify I change thickness to 0 0.005 cool now you can see the depth okay. like let's change it to 0 0.05 maybe okay, but now it's more depth has a good depth cool okay finally I'm going to add a head split so it will make sharp edge it's like uh, it's like you don't have a subserve but you have subserve Cool. So now to check. Whoa, nice fracturing. Cool. Oh, yeah, one thing if you have this particle, go to the cache setting, the cache setting, and change the step to zero. It's uh, one, sorry, it's very important. So, it will, you see here, it will be catching here. The next step, it will be much faster. Cool. nice now the reverse effect so how to do that we we already has this so we want to reverse it cool now go to the video editing and just if a scene and probably you should see something here cool and change the material to um, solid maybe yep cool and what I'm going to do is like check backward so you have a backward effect directly you can view it directly on blender it's kind of very cool okay so that's maybe conclude the tutorial today and thank you very much for watching make sure you are subscribed to my channel for future posts and thank you very much for your attention and your feedback and very welcome okay see you see you again next time